What's shaking, my friends? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shay, and today we're going to talk about what the heck I'm going to read in the month of July. So, in the month of June, I read an astronomical amount of things, and I knew that this was kind of, kind of going to put me in a kind of a slumpy slump. So, I am kind of not going to hurt myself if I don't finish my July TBR, but also, I realized in the month of June, as I started reading and starting a lot of different series, that I'm having anxiety about the amount of series that I have ongoing. So I want to kind of remedy that in the month of July. I am doing another kind of challenge with my book club, but it's a little bit more lenient about what I get to read. And so I'm going to be able to read what I want to read. So... My priority is going to be to finish some series. So right off the bat, there are a couple of books that I know for positive will finish out um, some series. So the first one is going to be one that I have put off for a very, very long time. And that's because I've heard terrible things about the ending of the series. And it is one of my favorite series pretty much of all time. And that is going to be the Fall of Babel by Josiah Bancroft. It's a chunker, but I am ready to read this one. I've had it for a long time. I pre-ordered this and I haven't touched it. So I'm ready to read this and this is the first book in the series is Sinlin Ascends and without going into too much detail it follows our main character Thomas Sinlin who has been married and he goes to this Tower of Babel on his honeymoon and his wife gets separated from him and gets lost and he has to go into the tower which is this kind of Every floor ringdom is a different kind of governmental structure and he has to kind of go through and try to find his wife and it's very interesting. It has a great found family trope and I am looking forward to seeing the end of this series. Another series that I just read the first of in June is going to be um, The Rose and the Dagger, which is the second in the duology, The Wrath and the Dawn. So I am looking forward to this. It follows our main character and they live in a kingdom where the prince basically takes a different bride every night and he kills them before dawn. And this girl uh, has had her best friend killed by him and she is has vowed to stop him so she volunteers to be his wife and she vows that he will not kill her she will kill, kill him so this is the second in that series and it will finish up the series for me and i'm very very excited to continue a another book that will finish off a series for me is Symphony of Stars by Robert Kloss. This is the third in, uh, I don't know if this series has a name, but the first book is Gods of Men, and it follows our main character who basically has these magical powers, and she doesn't know this until she is just a child, and she plays uh, her flute in from some governmental people, and she winds up killing her sister and so she has to flee because her magic is forbidden and then she has fleed to this land and she's hoping to escape them but people find out where she is and who she is and people go after her and that is that and we're going to finish those three off those three series which I'm very very excited to do so. The next book that I also will complete because I read the first two novellas in the month of June and that's going to be the last novella in the Skyward of Light collection which um, will keep me all caught up. I think the fourth book may come out, I'm not sure, but it will get me caught up in this series. So if you don't know about Skyward, it is amazing. It follows our main character, Spencer, and they live on this planet called Detritus, and there's aliens, and fighting them, and it, it's just a romping good time, and there's doom slugs, there's slugs, and they're so cute. They're not really cute, but they're so cute, and I highly recommend. Another, another series that I started recently that I have not continued on with is going to be An Ember in the Ashes, and the next book is A Torch Against the Night. So... It is another story about a girl who is infiltrating a government school to kind of overthrow, be a spy, overthrow some things because the government has done her wrong and killed her parents and killed her grandparents. So, um, I'm looking forward to this. I did recently acquire the rest of the series, so I'm looking forward to continuing on. The font is, even though it's hefty, the font is kind of big, so I'm hoping I could whip 
right through this one. Another series looking forward to continue on with is going to be Charmcaster by Sebastian de Castell, which I did not get to in the month of June. And that's going to start with Spellslinger, which this is a world with magic and it follows our main character who basically does not have any magic. And he is a, in, he lives in a world where magic is important. And if you are not a magic user, you are basically a slave. And it kind of goes from there. Another series looking to continue this month is going to be A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab. I can't remember when I read Darker Shade of Magic. It was earlier this year and never continue on with it, but looking forward to continue on it on with it now. The next kind of book in a series that I'm going to try to get to is Finlay Donovan Knocks Them Dead. I read Finlay Donovan is Killing It in June and I really 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 enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to continuing on with the next book in the series. She Finlay is like bat down on her luck. She is an author. She is writing a novel and she's meeting her agent in a Panera Bread and the they are discussing the plot of the book and the person next to her mistakes her for an assassin and hires her to kill her husband. So it's very hilarious and it's one of the only books that I've laughed out loud at and highly recommend but I'm hoping to continue on with the sequel uh, Finley Knocks I'm Dead this month and the next book in that series the number three I think comes out in January. Another book which is a romance book that I also pre-ordered and just have not gotten to it is by one of my favorite authors and that is going to be Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez and I've heard nothing but great things about this and I'm looking forward to this and I'm not quite sure it's about a doctor and um, a hot carpenter who's 10 years younger than her so I'm looking forward to it uh, highly and yeah heard nothing but great things can't wait to get to it. Another romance from one of my favorite authors that I have yet to read is going to be All Red Tear by Mariana Zapata. I am hoping to fall into this. I haven't read a lot of Mary. I've read like four or five of Mary Mariana Zapata's books and I stopped because they were very lengthy and I didn't have the audiobooks. So, but I want to pick her back up and regardless of whether I have the audiobook or not, I think I will really, really, truly enjoy uh, these books. Another book that I'm going to pick up maybe this month is A Flicker in the Dark and I'm not quite sure what that one is about and I couldn't find my copy but I do own it. But of course it's a mystery thriller. I think it's following a timeline where there were some a murder that occurred in the past and now there's something else that has occurred in the future and do we really know what happened in the past and is it related to what's happening now. So that's uh, it for the month of July. Those are my plans. Am I going to be able to stick to that? Probably not because the challenge that I'm doing in my book club is going to be uh, sometimes where I can't stick to this but I'm hoping that if I get the opportunity these are the books that I will choose to read. Of course there will be add-ons to this but I'm in going to try to enjoy kind of my leisure reading this month and I'm going to hope that my anxiety decreases because I am going to be finishing off some series. All right, guys, that's going to be it. That is all that I have planned for the month of July. I don't know about you guys, but please tell me what y'all do when y'all are in the middle of series and y'all haven't read um, the last book in the series. It's been so long since you've read it. What do you do? Do you go and do you like recap it somewhere or, or do you have a great memory where you just remember everything that happens in a book? Like please please tell me. Like I'm trying to figure out in my brain like Shay if you would just marathon these series it will be you'll be a much better <laughs> you know your anxiety will be much lower and uh, your reading enjoyment will be much better because I found in the month of June that, and I'll talk about it more in my June wrap up, that I really, really enjoyed reading series, books and series close together so I could remember everything that happened in the books. Tell me what you think. I will catch you guys later. I hope your reading is going all kinds of well and I wish you the best of luck with your reading in the month of July.